Hello nieces and nieces, how are you today? Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. I'm Savings Fashionista and over here we do mainly things fragrances with this body home and today we're here to talk fragrances you guys and it's that time I am here to share with you the fragrances and combinations that I wore starting the week of October the 6th. So if you're interested in hearing about those fragrances please stay tuned. All right so starting October the 6th you guys Sunday was a chill day and um i decided to go in with my favorite chill favorite combinating body care from bath and body works and it is from the wellness collection and this is the coco shea honey fragrance so i did start with the moisturizing body wash and then on a damp body i applied the oil and this is the honey fragranted oil that is not cooperating for the focus but this is it so i then went in with the body lotion and i drenched myself and my clothes with the body mist and i have shared with you all a couple times if you layer this you can get you about three to four hours with just that fragrance alone but the fragrance that i decided to pair with it is a fragrance from the october fragrance tray if you have not checked out that video you can click the card above and this is a really inexpensive cute vanilla fragrance that i do enjoy this is vanilla potion by true fragrances such a very easy vanilla that you can layer with anything you like i could see this going with just about anything and it's also one of those vanillas that you can carry on the go because it's not overly projecting and um i really enjoy this fragrance i really do so again this is vanilla potion by true fragrances now moving on into monday you guys i did my thing again with the honey coco shea all four products and i wore a fragrance that i just recently added to the collection because i wanted to wear it in isolation to really get a feel of it and i need to wear it some more because i'm just really not ready to give my thoughts about it i know that i like it i really do like it but i really want to wear it more so i can give it a fair assessment as far as the performance so this is the latest latest from the mark jacobs line and this is mark jacobs perfect elixir so that was my fragrance for monday now moving on into tuesday you guys i started off with one of the latest body butters from the fenty holiday line and this is so good you guys this is so good this is the caramel salted caramel is what they call it and you know the ones for this season they all have shimmer in it this smells so good i don't know why this one was not the full size bottle one because to me it is so good it smells so good it smells like true caramel it smells so good so i went in with that as my moisturizer and believe it or not the vanilla um bean noel especially the one from last year from bath and body works it has a very prominent caramel note in here and you know the fragrance notes in here are fresh vanilla bean warm caramel sugar cookie whipped cream and snow kiss musk but you definitely can get the caramel note in here it is very profound and it is so good so that was my fragrance body care and then i went in with something that i recently added to the collection and this is grand barlow from the casa marati line with zhirzhoff come on focus hocus pocus i need your focus all right so this is i've heard people say that this puts them in the mind of juicy couture gold gold couture and i have to agree it has some very similar notes and you know the juicy couture has a caramel note and so does the grand barlow 
and it is a really nice fragrance and it projected all day really enjoyed it very feminine very girly and it's a really nice fragrance so that was my fragrance combination for Tuesday. Now moving on into Wednesday, I had been in a mood for this fragrance. It is one of my latest favorites and not the body care, but the fragrance itself. But I started off and I layered with the Candy Apple Cauldron. And this is um, a part of Bath and Body Works, the Halloween one. And it has fragrance notes of mysterious green apple, shimmer and sugar, crystallized bergamot. So good. Really enjoy it. It's one of my latest favorites. And, and this is Amorous Intense. So beautiful. By Navitas in collaboration with the beautiful AI The Great here on YouTube. Absolutely beautiful fragrance. So that was my fragrance combination for Wednesday. Now moving on into Thursday, I used one of my last year favorites and it still is a favorite. I forgot how much I love. No, this wasn't last year. This was earlier this year. I think this came out around Valentine's Day. But this is the Sweetheart Cherry from Bath and Body Works. And it has fragrance notes of wild cherry, crushed pistachio, and whipped vanilla. So I used these body care products. And the fragrance that I use also came from the October fragrance tray. And this is the Over Red by Black Opium from YSL. Cherry forward fragrance. Really like it. It is a bit different from your traditional black opium one thing i can say about the latest two releases from the ysl as far as flankers to me they have been unique enough to appreciate a flanker from a particular line and i really enjoy this one and the la Parfum, which was the one before this one so that was my fragrance combination for Thursday. Now moving on into Friday, you guys. I started off with another started one. Started off with another Fenty Body Butter from the holiday package this year. And this is the Toasted Marshmallow. This one is not highly fragranted. I have had another marshmallow body cream that was super fragranted, but it's not bad. This one does come in the larger size but i wish they had released the caramel in larger size i'm sure if they get another request they probably will and i use this and i went in with the beach nights from bath and body works this has fragrance notes of toasted marshmallow sea salt breeze samoas accord beach driftwood and creamy vanilla and the fragrance that i wore was one of my marshmallow favorites does this even have marshmallow in it i know it has a ginger and a green tea note in it but i really enjoy this fragrance this is princess by killian absolutely beautiful fragrance you guys really enjoy it i have this one and the eau de fresh and i did i must admit i forgot to pull it out but I did spray a little of the Ariana on the bottom part of my body because I do think that the Ariana and this Killian Princess has like a similar DNA. So that was my fragrance combination for Friday. Now moving on into Saturday, you guys. I just put on my standard Coco Shea body um, oil that I also love. This is just the original one. It has a soft mouth smell to it. Nothing extra. And the fragrance that I wore, I was feeling very, very, very peachy today. And it served so well. Smells so good. And with Sarah Baker's Peaches Revenge. Absolutely beautiful fragrance. I know we tend to think of peach during the summertime. But this is really a nice peach transitional scent. And to be honest, I think that this could be befitting for year-round wear 
really nice fragrance. So those were my fragrance combinations for the week of October the 6th, you guys. If you would like to share, if you would, because it does have the analytics, share what your favorite combination or favorite fragrance were for the week of October the 6th. If you have any fragrance combinations that you would like me to try, do that as well. I want to thank you guys so very much for coming back. I greatly appreciate you. And do not forget, you, yes you, you are great. Bye-bye.